Have you or somebody you know purchased a gun at Walmart? Then you might want to watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Before I jump into this, please check out Big Daddy Unlimited. They're a sponsor of this channel. Uh, you can join for just a dollar, 99 cents, for the first month. Check it out, see if you like it. You'll find a lot of items that we all love to use at crazy discounts, at times much lower than anything else you can find nationwide. Check them out, a link will be down below to my website, and then you'll see the link to Big Daddy Unlimited. You can't really put that stuff here on YouTube, otherwise you must repent for your sins for doing stuff that is free. <laughs> but let's get into this issue here with Walmart. Currently, Walmart has 4,700 stores nationwide. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you'll remember that Walmart went through that whole big fiasco uh, after a, a mass shooting that they were going to stop selling firearms in a majority of their stores and then they pulled certain calibers of ammunition as well shortly after that. Well, they still sell firearms in 2,388 stores. They've also decided that they're going to stop selling firearms in an additional 500 stores. Now, while we don't know exactly which stores that still sell are on that list of 500, but we do know that this information has been verified to Ammoland News by a former ATF assistant director. Now, what does that mean and why am I even doing a video on this? Well, as I discussed in that video floating above my head, when an FFL, in this case Walmart, decides to close up shop, they have two options. And one of those options is to transfer those firearms and the uh, appropriate 4473 records to another FFL that will then become the uh, su successor retailer. So Walmart could very easily sell, send those guns over to another one of their stores that sell firearms and it would be just business like any other day. Now if you haven't watched that video that I did, then you probably don't know that the ATF has been pressuring former FFLs to turn their information over to them instead of the other option we just spoke about. So according to information received from Ameland f by that uh, former ATF assistant director, Walmart it appears to be preparing to turn over all of those 4473s to the ATF for those 500 locations. So that means the ATF would know who bought what and where for each one of those stores. Now this is totally within Wally World's right. It's one of their options as they close that particular or those 500 particular FFL uh, licenses. But what is very concerning that a lot of people aren't aware of is that we started getting news from FFLs within the last two years, actually longer than that, that when ATF agents were coming in to do their inspections, they were taking cell phone pictures of the 4473s. And then it was learned that they were putting those pictures into a searchable, scannable database, which is in violation of the law. Now there's also word that ATF has used or partnered with a third party uh, company that Ha is employing a uh, rapid search and scan type uh, program for these 4473s. Thus, the ATF is building a national database in violation of 18 U.S.C. 926A3, which prohibits a national firearms registry. So Gun Owners of America, I actually wasn't planning on a video when I put this on, but <laughs> GOA stepped up to the plate in May of 2020 and submitted a FOIA request, that's a Freedom of Information Act, uh, to the ATF specifically to find out what information uh, on these 4473s is now searchable by them, the policies and procedures around the scanning of these documents, as well as the current number of records that they have. And like a tyrannical group, the ATF has not replied or responded to the GOA's request. And we're now seven months after that request was made. So just a little bit of information for you if you are one of those people who purchased a firearm at one of these Walmarts that will soon be shuttering their firearms uh, sections, the ATF will have your information. Not that they don't have it already. I mean, I, I personally believe that they don't follow any of the laws anyway, and they have a searchable database of just about everything. Uh, and I know that those of us who live in states that register our guns, then 
preaching to the choir there. This is a time we need to pull together. We need to stop doing this. We're gonna call people out for this or that, all right? The cancel culture is, is real, it is deep, and it shouldn't even be in this community. We all need to pull together uh, so that we can stop what is planned with a Joe Biden and a Kamala Harris administration. And the more fractured we are, guys and gals, those of you who are out there saying, uh, already typing something right now, <laughs> something divisional, but yeah, it's, you're free to do that, have at it. But uh, the, the more we do that, the more we're going to get it rammed on, uh, up our you-know-whats with this un upcoming uh, group. At least it, it appears to be that group. I know it's being fought, but we'll see what happens. But the point is, guys and gals, pull together. It's time to be a brother in sisterhood, like it's supposed to be, and have each other's backs, because we're going to need each other soon. Just uh, my, my prediction. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. If you're into Second Amendment news, this is where you will find it. I appreciate you all so much more than you know. Please consider subscribing to this channel and join this growing freedom family. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.